Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Sorry, sorry about that. Some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales of a New Dawn. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes to entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alright. So I've noticed. I looked across the room at Dom, who had been listening to our conversation with a look of exasperation on his face. Dom was still no fan of Jay's, it would seem. In doing so, I noticed Lucas approaching us both, wearing a similar expression, although no doubt for different reasons. Eric, is there any reason you're distracting Brian from his work? Oh, uh, uh oh, sorry, boss. I'll get back to it. Just, what did you do to him to make him so obedient all of a sudden? Clearly not enough if he's over here distracting you. Hmm, I'll get back to it then. Please. I returned to my tasks, finishing labeling the envelopes before my phone buzzed. Retrieving it from my pocket, Diego had replied with a thumbs up. I followed this up, confirming his opponent was in fact the same Jay. Diego's response came shortly after reading, What is he gonna do, flirt me to death? I replied, That's my job, with Diego's subsequent reply being a laughing emoji. I put my phone away once more and work carried on my work, doing as much as I could before I had to leave to participate in the tournament. Before I knew it, I had completed all the tasks Lucas had given me with time to spare. I approached Lucas to inform him of this, as well as seeking, him, seeking his permission to leave. I'm all done with the jobs, Brecken. I'd be okay to head off now? Alright, thank you for your hard work. Hey, sorry I can't come to the tournament today to watch. I wanted to, seeing as Diego was doing so well, but duty calls. It's okay. Oh, I know, it's okay. What's Axel doing? He was planning to come, so hopefully you'll see him there. Alright, sounds good. Good luck with the pitch, guys. Thanks, we'll need it. Yeah, Cutter is going cheap. I only hope our superior work will be worth the extra investment. Which is why we've got to nail this. Who's nailing who exactly? Eric. Ah, so oh, <laughs> sorry boss. I departed the office and headed out. I had a short window of time to spare. Should I get lunch? Perhaps there was something else I could do to fill the time. Uh, fill the time? Nothing. I'll accept. Get that kind of feeling. Yeah, boy. Alright. I arrived at the combat tournament, making my way directly into the locker room in search of Diego. Thankfully, he was exactly where I expected he would be. Hey, you made it! Come on, you know I wouldn't miss this. Miss this? I do. Sometimes it's hard to believe how lucky I am, though. So, gay dragon, huh? <laughs> oh, that should be the thumbnail. Just so, gay dragon, huh? <laughs> it's kind of weird that's what we're calling him. It's not like any of us can talk. Ain't that true? I don't really know how he's gonna fight, but hopefully I'm ready. Just gotta remember to breathe, keep my cool, and be, start be calculated and all that. Does Ty have any tips for you? I'm sure he would, if he were here. He didn't show up? Nope. Russell is, though. Passed on his best wishes. That must be a busy day at the bar. Or he knows that I know what he's been up to and is avoiding me. Hmm. I kind of wish he were here. He's my sponsor and the one that got me into this. I may be mad at him, but it's not like I hate him or anything. Maybe you're just overthinking it. He might just be busy today, that's all. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyways, as you can see, I'm all ready to go. We still got a few minutes. Shall we meet up with everyone before the fight starts? Lead on. At the, st at the stands on Diego's corner of the ring, we ran into a few familiar faces. As expected, Ty was not present. Either was Lucas nor Dom, as we already knew. Today, we only had three spectators in addition to myself, Russell, Axel, and... Hello. Logan, you made it. Good to see you. How's the leg? Just about healed. Still a little sore, but I'm walking normally. Great. I'm really glad. I still feel terrible about the whole thing. Don't worry. It's okay. Diego, your opponent is our waiter! Ha! Huh, I know. Brian told me about it earlier. Maybe I should chuck a couple extra punches in there for Dom, huh? Oh, don't hurt him too bad. He's nice. Ugh, oh, God, what voice was I doing? Ha! Huh, if only you'd ask, if you asked him, when that, asked him that when he fought me, Axe, I've still got bruises. Ha! Huh, ooh, sorry. It's alright. I'm totally kidding, man. It was a great fight. And what do you think, dude? Do you, like, uh, think you can, like, beat him? We're about to find out. A pity Ty wasn't here to offer advice. He says he's really sorry. I know, I know. You don't have to apologize for him. Is, uh, something, like, uh, going on? It seemed kind of like KG and Brian and him were kind of fighting yesterday. Whoa, Brian, you didn't tell me things got heated. Eh, maybe a little. Nothing serious. I just laid down the law a little. I appreciate it, dude. To answer your question, Russell, it's, um... Uh, He's been sticking his nose into my business a bit and trying to get Brian to help. Oh, Brian did mention that. I hope it all works out. I hope so, too. 
The second and final match of the semifinals will, begin, will be beginning in five minutes. Contestants, please make your way to the ring, ready to begin. It's almost time. Break a leg, Diego. Hurry. Oh, I, I didn't. I mean, I... <laughs> oh. If my opponent is another than the lovely Diego himself, I truly cannot wait to see what you have in store for me. Can't say I expected to be fighting you today. Then again, maybe I should have seen that coming. Damn, he is fine. Indeed. In a small place such as Woodcrest, it is not unlikely to run into anyone and everyone. Alas, a customer or no, I shall show you no quarter, my handsome opponent. May the best man win. Yep, may the best man win. Are you ready for this, Diego? As ready as I'll ever be. Time to kick some dragon butt. Hello, and welcome to the final round of the Woodcrest Combat Tournament semifinals. Today's competitors have earned victory through the heats in the quarterfinals, and today fight for their chance to compete in the grand finale. In the blue corner, we have a quarterfinalist from last year's tournament, a rarely seen species, a southern winter dragon, known for his exquisite and graceful combat style. Everyone give it up for Jay. The crowd erupted into a hearty cheer. I found myself curious about what the announcer had said. It was true that I'd never seen a dragon quite like him before, but was he truly a rare species? I decided I'd ask him about it directly if I got the chance. And in the red corner... And in the red corner, uh, also a quarter finalist from last year, a ferocious and unpredictable canid fighter with a will of a, with a will of iron and a heart of gold. Everyone, give it up for Diego. Who are these introductions exactly? It sounded as though whoever it was knew Diego somehow. As per usual, our usual combat rules apply. Our fighters know them well by this late stage of the tournament, and as such, we shall not waste time repeating them. Let's get no. <laughs> After all, we know what it, what it is everyone is here to see. So without further ado, let the match begin! Oh, that is awesome. Oh, this is probably the thumbnail. Oh, God, this reminds me of Double Dragon. The fight... Because he's an actual dragon. Okay. The fight began as all the others had, with both fighters closing their distance. However, it quickly became clear that Jay was unlike the rest, launching into a flurry of rapid punches and kicks right off the bat. Diego moved to defend himself and block these attacks as they only grew more elaborate, incorporating spinning kicks, rapid, unpredictable punches, and even the occasional flip. Oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. Unlike the others, Jay was clearly trained in some specific form of martial arts, moving with incredible speed and dexterity, a pace which seemed to already be overwhelming Diego. It was all Diego did to plant his feet and block as many of the strikes as he could. It was clear before very long had passed at all that his guard was being worn down. Just when I thought he'd break... So I thought he'd break. He dug deep and doubled down on his defense, continuing to effectively deflect Jay's onslaught. This continued for some time before Jay managed to get a lucky strike on Diego's side, causing him to flinch, followed by an impressive flip kick by Jay, which went sent Diego flying backward to the floor. Jay gracefully glided, out, glided in for the pin, and before we knew it, the first round of the fight was over. Score one to Jay! Diego picked himself up and shook himself off before turning to me. He could see the uncertainty in my face, so it caught me by surprise when he smiled back at me and winked. Had he figured out a strategy to beat Jay, or was he just trying to stop me from worrying? I didn't know what to expect, but the next few but the next few rounds would no doubt be interesting to watch. Round two, fight! The second round began in a similar fashion to the first, with Jay going straight on the aggressive and Diego immediately defending himself. His strategy hadn't changed. What was he planning? Come on, Diego, what are you doing? Huh, getting his ass beat, looks like. Uh-oh. Reckon I can sit here for a moment? If I said no, would you really listen to me? Heh, <laughs> good point, I suppose. Karras took a seat beside me. I felt my whole body tense up. I had no idea what he was going to do. What he was going to say. I didn't really want to find out. I didn't really have a choice. What do you want, Kyrax? Who, me? I'm just watching the fight, same as you. Then why sit here? Why not any other seat in the stands? I figured this is the best place for me. Among those who are like-minded and all that. Besides, I ain't got no quarrel with you. You got nothing to fear from me. I do feel there's a lot more to Kyrex than we know. We both want Diego to win, right? The way I see it, we're on the same side. Why? So you can face him in the finals? Yeah, mostly. Maybe there's a little more to it. This conversation with Ty been getting to you, huh? Eh? What'd he tell you exactly? Tell me he wants you and Diego to talk. Reckons there's two sides to the story. Thinks you two might be able to hash something out between you. Is that all? Pretty much, he didn't go into detail. Right, that's the agenda he's been pushing, yeah. 
I take it you and Diego are the same mind that you'd rather not, then? Strongly. Ain't been stopping him from trying to convince me, though. Ty seems to think there's a lot Diego doesn't know. I, a lot you didn't tell him. Maybe even some things Diego didn't tell me. Did he do something wrong? I don't know. The whole thing was a shit show from start to finish. I spent the past few weeks thinking I was the victim. Now Ty is trying to say we both are, but he ain't saying why. Score two to Jay. Yeesh, if he doesn't throw no punches, he ain't gonna win, win a thing. If I'm honest, nothing Diego has said has made you look like the victim in any way. But now you've said it, and so has Ty. I'm beginning to feel there's a lot I don't know. Ty said it were different perspectives and all that. Diego didn't get mine. I didn't get his. Said that's part of why it became such a big mess in the first place. Ain't gonna lie, I don't see him as ain't don't see him as no victim either. Round three, fight. To be fair, to be, to be fair to Diego, you haven't given me any good reason not to believe Diego. I still remember that night at the festival, how horrible you were to him. It doesn't strike me as the behavior of a victim. I ain't so dumb as to defend that. Seeing Diego made my blood boil. I felt justified in that moment, but I know how it looked. It was just bad blood and all that. When we saw you a couple nights back, you said nothing. Diego was expecting a fight or something, but you just walked on by. I just be done. I just I just got done talking to Ty. But some of that shit in perspective. That night in particular. How it looked. How it sells whatever Diego's been saying. When I saw you both, I remember that. It's not like I were mad or nothing. Not like I've gone, not like, not like I've gone soft. I just held my tongue. It was a surprise for both of us. Made me doubt if you were as horrible as you really thought you were. Do you really think, do you really think me to be some kind of monster? I mean, I ain't some kind of comic book villain. No matter what Diego has told you. I'm flesh and blood, just like you are. I know, I, I know how things went down wasn't cool. I felt trapped. Didn't know what else to do. Suppose I have some regrets. It struck me in that moment that I didn't truly know Kyrex as a person. I knew of his reputation, or rather the reputation Diego had given him. If I had gotten to know him without knowing it, what I knew, would I truly feel the same? Do you really think it, that it, you really think that if you and Diego spoke, it would be helpful for either of you? I can't answer that. I don't know myself, but your tiger friend sure seems to think so. I sat there, pondering his response. The Kyrex I was speaking to seemed very different from, from, what I'd, from who I'd imagined him to be. Perhaps if... I wondered if perhaps this was some ploy to mislead me. But what if he was being genuine? And even then, were the two to speak, would it really be beneficial to them both? Time out. Score two to nil. Round four. Fight. The fourth round started and it was just like I'd planned. While Jay had managed to pin me in his first two rounds, he wasn't able to in the third. Which, like before, I moved in and put my guard, enduring a few blows from Jay. Like at the beginning of the fight, however, these blows were slower and less aggressive than before. I admit, my arms hurt like hell taking all those punches. It was all about to pay off. I waited for a gap in Jay's strikes before dropping my guard and surprising him with the hardest strike straight to his gut. Yes! Knocked the wind right out of him. While he's distracted, I went for a sweep. It was almost comical, easily he lost balance and crashed to the floor. I pinned him and easily claimed my first win of the day. Score one, Diego! Ha! Sucker! Jay played right into my hands. I'd endured a lot, and now it was time to reap the rewards. I'd immediately recognized Jay's speed at the beginning of the fight. He didn't necessarily hit hard, but boy did he hit fast. There's no way for me to keep up with him at all, so I held my ground and endured. I took a beating with the express purpose of exhausting him. Very much the strategy Ty had taught me a week or so prior. It had worked. Jay's speed was down, as was his strength, and now the ball was in my court. Round 5, fight! I moved in again putting up my garden during a brief assault from Jay before he used what little energy he'd recovered between rounds. Then I intercepted one of his strikes by grabbing his arm and throwing it behind me. He staggered straight into the rope, falling backwards onto his back. Alas, he got up before I could move in, move in to pin him. Thankfully, a couple of strong body blows and he was back on the floor once more. Another easy pin, another easy win. Score to all! Damn straight. I was really finding my groove in this fight. Feeling confident, I'd look toward the crowd to see something that made my blood freeze. Next to Brian was Kyrax, no doubt hassling me, hassling him, given his, no doubt hassling him, given his unamused expression. What was he doing? Why was he sitting next to Brian? I had to finish this last round fast and get over there as soon as I could. Round six, fight! Well, shit, would you look at that? Where'd he learn them tricks? That's something Ty taught him in training. He'd be proud if he were here. No shit, surprised he ain't here, actually. Diego knows what he's trying to do. Our current theory is he's avoiding us for now. Huh, coward. He could have watched us both win. 
So you're in the finals then? Of course I am. I'm the reigning champ. I don't go down that easy. Whoa, what the hell is your boy doing? I looked over to the ring to see Diego in the process of suplexing Jay straight to the floor. Somehow that wasn't against the rules. Huh. Think he, think he might have spotted me. Look at him go. Jay had picked himself up only to fall victim to more ferocious blows from Diego, sending him spiraling back to the floor. Diego threw himself on top and then... Match complete! The winner is Diego! Well, shit, that seals the deal, don't it? Your boy did good, but I think I'd, but I think I'd better get moving. Afraid he's going to suplex you next? Ha, <laughs> I, I ain't scared of him. He can't save that. He can save that for our final showdown. Kyrick swinked before briskly, briskly walking away, disappearing into the crowd. I suddenly felt less on edge now that he was gone. But the encounter was hardly as confrontational as I'd expected. Kyrax, you... Where the fuck did he go? He left as soon as you won. Cowardly piece of shit. Fuck! Diego. Diego sighed and took a few deep breaths. What did he want? He wanted you to win. As for why he sat next to me, I don't know. I honestly don't. Did he talk any shit? No, actually. I'm kind of weirded out by it. He was very civil, and he knows what Ty is up to as well. Oh? And? He's not so hot on it either, but something about what he said and the way he said it, I don't think, I don't think he's totally opposed. Over my dead body. He confirmed what Ty said, too, that there were some things he didn't say, say which he should have. Wouldn't tell me what, though. God damn it, he's gonna get what's coming to him in the finals, mark my words. Dude, you, like, totally won! That was amazing! That was so awesome! Oh, uh... I can't believe you turned that around, my dude! That was, uh, that was all the plan. I was wearing him down. Wow, so cool! You're in the finals! Alright guys and gals, I'm gonna pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye